What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Nadia said in tea time, this is episode three, that when they were having tea, she was like, um, girl, even if I was interested in him, the way that y'all interacted with each other, I would have been like, oh, hell no, hell no. But, you know, Andila has his sights on Zari. So they have tea time, right? So it's Kaylee, Annie, Kanye, Zari, and Nadia. Um, Nadia wasn't prepared to see Zari and neither was Annie because they both had they have both got some little, you know, energy with her, especially Annie. Annie didn't like um, how she kept, what did she say she didn't like? You annoyed me yesterday. Why is Zari here? That's what I wanted to know. Kaylee said that she didn't like that Z that um, Naked is hanging out with Diamond because of, of what Diamond said about Nadia. And Zari's looking at like what? Because nobody, Zari did not know that Diamond and Nadia, they were trying to hook them up. But the, that's why Kanye was trying to figure out, like, girl, would you still like him? You still, what's going on? She was trying to, you know, fill her out. And then Zari is on the other end saying, girl, how are you trying to talk to my BD? And um, you said you on your way to Mexico to meet Vic Mensa. So what's going on? I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> but I know that's right. What's happening? So she says, um, at the same time, the guys are having a spa day. Um, Naked tells Jerry about Zari and how um, about Zari and Diamond and Nadia and that whole situation. And he's like, um, here comes Diamond in pink, right? <laughs> Looking like a flamingo. That's what they said. He said, um, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me because my oh, my woman won't sleep with me because of you. They think you they think I move like you. You do. Y'all all move alike. Uh, birds of a feather. Hello. I mean, like literally that is literally like the I, I remember hearing that since I was a little girl. And I, I don't know how far birds of a feather flock together, go back. But it is true. It is true. It is true. You can't tell me that Martel and Moses and Montrose aren't over there. The same fucking flock of birds uh, hanging around each other. Men who are upstanding and have honor and integrity do not hang around with men who cheat on their wives. Unless they are complicit and unless they doing it themselves. So, I don't know why Kaylee is sleeping with you in the first place. Shit. Anyway, I guess everybody needs somebody, child. I don't know. A lot of these dudes, I wouldn't just, um, no sex from Kaylee. He said, birds of a feather. He says, it's like, chew, it's like spitting your chewing gum out to eat a grape. I said, oh, see. <laughs> it's like spitting your gum out to chew, to eat a grape. Don't, don't spit out your chewing gum to eat a grape. I said, I know that's right. He told you this, that's their crew. That is their crew. So that's when Annie, when Nadia tells um, Zari, the chemistry between you and Diamond, even if I was interested in him, girl, it was a lot. So Annie tells Zari that she felt disrespected at the party. And um, she says, well, I was just, it was, it was like a joke. It was just a joke. I was just kidding. And she was like, okay, are we cool? So they made up. Girl. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think? that Annie has a legitimate issue with Zari in the way how she called her up later and called her insecure in front of her husband. We're going to get to that. But even Kaylee said that Annie is nitpicky. I, I, she is. She is nitpicky. She's like, like, like judgy, like looking for stuff. Like, mm-hmm. That's how, that's how Annie, that's how Annie comes off, right? So Kanye and Naked go and meet. She tells, she lets us know that he's gone through two divorces. She wants to talk to him because of what Kaylee said about him at the tea time. She says, when 
Kaylee is talking about naked, it's like talking about my brother. So I want to go see what is happening in this relationship and why his woman is feeling the way she does. So they go and sit down. She tells him your relationship seems turbulent. He tells her you can't, when I tell you, he immediately gets on the defense. Oh, I just heard something click. Uh, oh. Um, so what do y'all think? He, when I tell you he got on the defense so fast, I was like, he really like flipped that so fast. She was like, you know what? You are such a dick. You are amazing. She's like, I'm coming to you bringing the information about your relationship and you like don't want to hear it. And then you flip it on me talking about every, you need to get off your high horse before you come talking to me. Every time I see you, you in a different Lamborghini and it's alarming. And you need to follow and like and shut your mouth. I said, oh my God, I do not like him. I was like, naked, you are, your mouth, he's so out of order. He really is out of order. And you can tell that's like a person who, to me, doesn't respect women. The way he flipped that. And then when the late, later, when he was talking to her and told her that she was dickmatized and you got that nerdy nut going in you and that's why you can't think straight. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> Did he just say that to her? I was like, oh my God, this is a mess. He is a mess. He is a fucking mess. I was like, he's so out of order. If you cry, I'm going to leave. She was like, well, I cannot believe you. She was like, and he was like, and then you're going to expect me to be around to pick up the pieces. And she's like, and you're going to be there to pick up the pieces. I'm not your babysitter. She said, that's not being a babysitter. That's being supportive. And he was like, if you start crying, I'm going to leave. I was like, God damn. So he, um, he started attacking Kudzi and she's like, well, I'm going to marry him. He was like, you and I aren't jumping into anything. <laughs> Bitch, you're not getting married and neither am I. I'm not marrying Kaylee and you ain't marrying Kudzi, okay? He called him a, a an adult minor because she's funny. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you they are so sarcastic, I fucking love it. I love it. He called, his, he called Kudzi an adult minor. Baby. <laughs> oh, God, that was so funny to me. And she ended up walking out. She ended up walking out. You and I are not jumping into anything. So Annie calls home. She does a FaceTime. Um, how many times do you make the same mistake? You have to be your own medicine in order to heal yourself. She's right, though. She's right. And it's so sad. It's so sad. But you do have to, for me, I feel like you do have to have enough you have to find the respect that you have for yourself and then the love comes like okay i love myself enough not to to know that that type of relationship is not for me although it may look great although the guy may have a lot of money although he may you know have a great job although but that is not for me and every person is not husband material every person who has a great job every person who has you know money in the bank every person who has you know his portfolio together is not husband material and i think a lot of women just see a man that can provide security and assume okay this man is going to be a protector and provider and it's like this first of all he's non-monogamous second of all He's not marriage material. And you're going to try to make this and then you're going to wait. You're either going to ride or die. How do you make the same mistake twice? But she said those are all her kids. She sees them as her kids or whatever. You got to be your own medicine. Annie goes over to um, Swanky's house and all of a sudden all of these roses come out. He is, when I tell you, he, when I tell you, baby, every time you see him, he got on Gucci. I said, I love him. I, I, when I tell you I see his IG, I'll be like, I'll be over here screaming like, yes! <laughs> Kill him! He be killing him! And then when you saw when they got on the train, and when he got on the train, he did his cape like that. I said, come on, bitch! 
I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. Come on, Swanky Jerry. He gives me my life. Do you hear me? My entire life. Let me watch this off chat. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Okay. So we almost done, y'all. We're almost done. Oh, we're almost done. Okay. So I think I'm going to split these up because it's like over an hour. It might not be an hour because I was talking a lot before this. But anyways. Um, he's coming out with roses and stuff. He was like, where are, the, Annie, where are these roses coming from? Let me go see. Let me go see. All of a sudden, you hear somebody say, hey, 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 baby, it's innocent, honey. When I tell you she jumped on him, jumped on him, licking the side of his face and everything, two Baba shows up. So surprised. So surprised. He's going to take her to Sun City for their 10-year anniversary. They're popping champagne. I love it. I love it. I love it. She was so happy to see him. Excited. So he's coming to take her for their 10-year anniversary to Sun City. Kaylee and Naked go to therapy with Kanye. And um, she tells him Kuzi is not coming because he didn't like the way I came home last night. He doesn't want to see you. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and what Kuzi was never going to come. Okay. Um, so naked and Kaylee are sitting there basically in therapy and basically he doesn't talk he's not romantic you know the, the the normal things but what he does share with us later is that she's at his house too much she's at his house too much she's doing too much she's she's acting like they're in a relationship I mean like it's he just wants you know her to go home sometimes and three days he was like just go home for three days and then he's also a single father um, and he says he needs time for his children and then he needs time for himself and she's always there. So her always being there and him being like, oh, I need my space is an indication that he's not ready for that kind of relationship. So you need to go home, <laughs> please go home, go home, girl. That's a lot. Like when you think about that, have you ever had that happen where you like, oh, when you take your ass home, oh God, go home. Why are you here every day? You don't have to be here. You don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but no, go home for, I need, I need a couple of days and you have to be, you have to be okay with telling somebody you need to go home for a couple of days. I need some time to myself. I need some time to, to myself. So I don't know. Um, so let's see. So Sun City, um, they go to Sun City and it's very romantic. It's, um, they have the flowers, the roses. He reproposes and tells her he wants to renew the wedding vows. And um, it was nice. Wherever they went, I don't know what Sun City, what's, what's that or where it's at or what's going on. I didn't look it up. But it looks so beautiful. I was like, yes, he better take her somewhere for the anniversary. He apologized to her. He said he was sorry. Um, you know, he didn't realize, he, you know, since she's been away, he was like, she, he didn't realize all the stuff that she did. Um, and it's like, after 10 years, you just not real. You didn't realize it. Like, girl, whatever. Girl, shut up. But she was crying and she even asked the cameras to stop. She was like, can they cut? No, baby, we getting all of this. Keep crying, Annie. Um, and she's crying and crying, getting trying to get her makeup together. She looks so beautiful in that green. I was like, yes, bitch. They, honey, when I tell you they come through with the fashions, they come through with the fashions. Now that the hairstyles uh yeah we're, we're they're gonna we're gonna need some work we're gonna need some work we're gonna need some work um the outfits i thought their outfits were really really cute i thought their outfits were cute baby did you see how um nadia went to the car dealership with diamond i said girl where are you going with that dress if she'd been over that dress would have been on her back okay i like the way they dress i love it I love it. I was here for it. especially Slinky Jerry, honey. He dresses the best. He's the best dress. I like the way Andile dresses. I like the way that um, Innocent dresses. You know, it's like ca casual, cute. I like, I even like, um, even um, Diamond in his interviews, his like blazers and stuff. I was like, he's fly, honey. This nigga's is fly as hell. You can't front. You can't even front on him. You really can't front on the fashion. You really can't. You really can't. Um, so yeah, he apologized to her and after all this time and blah, blah, blah. So they go to therapy. Um, she tells them that the relationship cannot be like a dictator relationship. 
Um, when they get into an argument, he's not listening. Um, they need to listen to each other and you can't deny his experience. If he's telling, if he's asking you for something, you can't change it. Cause it was something as simple as giving him oatmeal and she, he, normally put sugar in his oatmeal and she didn't put sugar in his oatmeal because she wants him to eat healthier. And he's like, D no. And then even the lady was like, you can't do stuff. You can't do stuff like that. You can't change up stuff. Like, no, you can't think that because your way is, is the way that should be best for him basically. But he's not, he's not marriage material. He's not even, he, sh you shouldn't even try to be in a relationship with somebody like him at all, at all. Diamond, he goes and he visits his kids um, that he has with Zari. He brings them candy. He brings her Louis Vuitton. I said, I know that's right. She was like, you see what mommy deserves? You see mommy got what she deserves? I said, yes. <laughs> yes. He says, we just, I'm trying to be on my best level. My best level. Um, so he's cool with the kids. He tells the kids he has to go. He doesn't stay long at all and they leave or whatever. Um, Innocent and Annie have their, you know, their time together. She says, he's like, I know we've been through our ups and downs and scandals and pregnancies. And basically you were a ride or die. He reproposed. Um, and he says, I'm glad you didn't discard me. She says that he, I was hurt. She felt like she was stabbed. I was like, oh my God. The way she describes it's so like, oh my God, girl. But he apologized. Um, he apologized. He said sorry. And he was just hugging her and stuff like that. And hopefully there hasn't been any other scandal since then. Um, because if there's changed behavior, all we can do is accept the changed behavior and be like, okay, innocent, you've changed your ways. So episode four, Zari is flirting with Andile there at brunch. And he was like, do you see Zari is flirting with me? He was like, no, we're not doing this. We're not playing these games. I don't know what you got going on. We're not doing that. Diamond is your friend. You're not supposed to be moving like that. So they they talk about how Innocent reproposed and she's showing the ring or whatever. Zari was looking like, girl, yeah, right. That's not real. Her feelings are not authentic. It's not enough. It's like, it to me, it seems the same. Like, it's like an over-exaggeration of her feelings. Like, this is my man. I'm so in love with my man, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> That's how she is. But it was like, girl, he's put you through so much and you still this excited? Like, so I feel like it's, it is performative. Do y'all feel like that? I feel like Annie's performing. So anyway, so um, Zari takes Innocent off to the side and he was like, what's going on here? She was like, well, your wife was thinking, was asking, how did I know you? How did I know you? I think she's thinking that you and I had sex and stuff like that. And he was like, I, what? He was like, what is happening? What's going on? And so he was like, so she calls um, Annie over there. So Annie was like, girl, what's up? So she walks over there. And she was like, you know, when you asked me, how did I know um, innocent? And she was like, yeah, I was asking. I was asking everybody because I was showing everybody. And I didn't know. Like, she was like, girl, I didn't know. Like, you know, I was just asking, how did he know you? And she was like, well, it seemed it was like a little bit insecure. And she was like, girl, what? No, you did not call me insecure in front of my husband. Why would you do that? Like. Did, what did y'all think about that? Did y'all think that she was out of order for doing that? I thought she was. I was like, girl, what? No, go away. Go away. Why would she was like, you're not even his spec, honey. Innocent spec is dark skin girls. He, she, and then she had the nurse. She's like, they cheat with the opposite type. I said, bitch. I was like, no, she did it. Girl. She said, she was like, they cheat with the opposite type. She told her she, he was, she like, he don't like, um, he likes small asses. That's what she said. I said, oh, come on, bitch. She was getting her together there. She was not letting her do that. But then later she was like, girl, no, she did not call me insecure in front of my husband. Absolutely not. So anyways, Kanye and Naked have their conversation. They have a proper sober conversation. And he said he wanted to apologize. He feels like he overstepped when he was talking about Kutzi and that, um, I know when you have a new love with your four-eyed nerd and you got that dirty, that nerdy nut 
in you. And I said, oh my God, why is he so offensive? Like, that is crazy. I was like, he, and then he was like, no, but I'm sorry. What? That's your apology. <laughs> what? Naked is so out of order. He was like, you know, you, you know, you're digmatized. And she was like, I thought you came over here to apologize. You telling me, oh, it's all about the D. It's just all about the D. He was like, well, I know you got that nerdy nut in you, girl. I said, uh-uh. Get out of here. So Andila and Zari go off to the side. Um, He asked her, was she seen anyone? She says she is. Um, He says, he, he, he you know, polyandry is a thing. I said, okay, see. Okay. Come on, uh, Zari. You better have brother husbands. Come on, brother husbands. Yes. She says, um, this can't happen. They were like, this can't happen between, between Zari and Andile because of Diamond. But what about Zari's feeling that you hooking, trying to hook Diamond up with Nadia? Like, come on. That, you care about Diamond's feelings, but you don't care about Zari's feelings? Come on. Come on. Kaylee and Swanky. Oh, they're off to the side. She says naked is not responding to her. She was trying to be sexy and he fell asleep snoring or whatever. She feels like it's always conflict. She says she's also bored or whatever. Um, Swanky tells, um, he tells Swanky um, that he has no space. He's a single father. He wants to have time for his children. He wants to have time for himself. He wants to have more time alone and she needs to go home three days a week. If she just gives me three days, when she comes back, I'll be a, do, a new person. No, but for real, like, I, I mean, I don't have no problem with him saying that. Like, go home. But at the same time, it's just everything compiled on that. He's not affectionate. He's not um, nurturing. He does Like, when she said she was cold, he didn't even move to, like, even give her a blanket. So he's not ready for any kind of, even those simple gestures like that. No, he's not ready. You told him you're cold and he doesn't move. You put on sexy clothes, he goes to bed. He's tired. He got girl, go home. Go home, girl. Just go home. Um, Kanye and Annie go out. She says, I, I saw you the other night. That wasn't the person I saw. I don't know that Annie. That's not the Annie I saw. So she tells her that that's not the person that I saw. That's not the Annie that I know. She starts talking about that this is the sorry you've been waiting for. She said he noticed things that I didn't think that he noticed. She said he is a good man. He has a good spirit and a good soul. And she says that I feel like Annie is someone who forgets herself and puts other people first. And she's like, I'm working on that. So you already know what it gives. And she's like, I just want to make sure that it's your movie. Like, this is your movie. This is your show. You're doing it the way that you want to do it. You're basically not doing something for someone else, right? Putting someone else before yourself. So Andile has an all white poetry party. He, both of his children's mother are there. So he has multiple baby mamas. Um, both, they're both there. Um, and then he also brings Zari. And when they were sitting over there talking about the women, they were like, okay, the one with the silver hair is his first baby mama. The one with the purple hair is the second baby mama. And her baby's only six months old. I said, what the fuck? And she just sitting there talking. Then she ends up walking over. She was like, here she comes. She coming. <laughs> baby. She was like, hello. Hello. I'm Annie. And she just sitting there looking at They was just talking about your ass. That shit is so, so funny. So Zari and Andile go over to the side and he's telling her how he likes strong women. He likes women who go after what they want and this and that. She was like, do I seem like that person to you? She's giving him the old, do I seem like da, 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 da. So she was like, I already told you. He was like, well, are you feeling the vibe? And she was like, yes, a vibe, but I already told you what it gives. I already told you I'm in another relationship or I'm seeing somebody, but aren't you feeling the vibe? She was like, yes, Andile is a vibe. He's a charmer. He's a flirt. But that's it. It's a vibe. And that's it. That's all we doing. Well, he's like, every time we're in a party, we just seem to basically like magnets. We just come together. Girl, okay, Andile. But he is really feeling her for real, for real. I um, We'll wait till we get to the seventh episode. But anyways, 
Kanye and Zari um, are on the side talking about how Annie is faking it. She's renewing the vows. Um, she's a typical African woman. Save the marriage no matter what. Um, but I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Annie. And this is what um, Zari says. I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Annie. Um, and she's um, talking about how she called me over, how calling her over was disrespectful. I agree. I like, I feel like, I feel like that was disrespectful. I felt like even her bringing it up, like she, she did that to kind of, and I think that's what Kanye was having a problem with her for is it's like, you like building yourself up when we're, when we're together, we're all equals. It's it, nobody is higher. Nobody is lower. We're all equals. We all got the same access to money. We all doing well for ourselves. You ain't better than nobody here. And I felt like Zari went to Innocent to make herself feel better than Annie. And then on top of Annie being insecure and just like Kanye and Nadia were telling Kaylee, when somebody tells you you're insecure to try to manipulate the situation. But when you think about Annie's relationship, to me, that would be the first thing I would think of. If you asking me, how do I know your husband and I know y'all history, my first thing is going to be like, oh, she's jealous. And she could genuinely be like, how do you know my husband? Where I, I, I didn't, because I don't know you and you know my husband, but apparently they had worked together um, a long time ago for some festival or something like that. And Zari has like um, school. She's really, she really has a lot of money. She has um, schools, it's called Brooklyn College. Um, some type of schools that she had with the man that she was married to. He died, I think of a heart attack or something like that. And and now she's running the schools or something. That's what I was reading online yesterday. So Zari, when she told, and I'm a billionaire, I don't need to, I don't need money to secure. I don't need to secure a man. I said, come on, bitch. So she says, um, Annie and Zari, I don't play around. She says, um, let's get right to it. I love the dress. I love Annie's blue dress. Annie's fly as hell, honey. She's fly as hell too. Um, I just feel the tension. Will you call me a liar in front of my husband? Yeah, because she was like, girl, I wasn't jealous. And she was like, come on, girl. Yes, you were. Like, how you gonna tell me if I was jealous or not? But again, like I said, that's, that's the first thing you're going to go to when a woman who's been cheated on as much as Annie asks you, how do you know my husband? Everybody's going to assume, oh, you think you, you think your husband fucked me? Girl, no. Oh, and you really think that because he kept wanting to talk to me on the FaceTime? Like, go give Zari the phone. I'm going to talk to the boss lady. He, you're just mad because he wanted to talk to me. And he wanted, he was, um, he only wanted to talk to me or something like that. Are you done? She was like, no, I'm not done. I'm still talking, right? So she was like, well, where it all started was he was insistent on speaking to me. And now you want to play the victim? I was like, oh my God, girl. They was really getting into it. She was like, that's why that the way that you speak, that's probably why you can't keep nobody. See, you can't do that. When you are in the situation, this is what, why I think it's worship at the end of the day. Because as much as you've been through Annie, as much as you've been through with this man, where your his fifth child was your first child together, you have no, you cannot ever throw a dick in a woman's face, ever, never, and your husband is innocent. No, at, not at all. Don't you ever do that. You can't do, if your man ain't shit, don't throw his dick in somebody's face. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you really just setting yourself up for failure. You really are, and you only show that you really see that there's value, even though what he's you've been through so much, you still see the value in him to the point where you will throw it up in another woman's face, girl. It's a mess. It is a fucking mess. And then she says, you're intimidated by women because what your husband has done to you. And then she was like, girl, that's why you can't keep no man and da, da, da. She was like, girl, fuck you and your silly marriage. I said, come on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's some shit baby i'm gonna make you you cannot do that like literally you're you there's nothing that you could do because the ammo that's gonna come after you throw your raggedy husband his dusty dick in somebody's face you want to turn around 
Girl, no, we're about to tell you, we're about to rip you to shreds. She said, fuck you and your silly marriage. What's her name? She said, bye, bitch. <laughs> bye, bitch. She told her, I'm a billionaire. I don't need to secure a man. And then she called, she immediately called Kanye. And that was the end of the episode, y'all. That's episode one through four. Okay, I hope y'all had a good time. And we're going to come back with five, six, and seven tomorrow. All right, take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. Money just finds its way to you. It does. Me? I have a like with money. money. No, I just think money recognizes me. Money is comfortable around me. Money likes me. So money feels when it needs someone to talk to, it'll choose me in the crowd and it'll come and sit next to me, whether it comes in a form of whatever, but it will choose me.